Hey, it's Rich Fisher from Ken Island Online and QAC TV7. We are here at Spunkware, a very unique shop on Ken Island. Let's go take a look. Hey, it's Rich from Ken Island Online and QAC TV. I'm here with Sheila, who owns Spunkware, one of the more unique additions to our county. And you've been here for how long? We've been in this spot for three years. We're, this is our seventh year in business. And tell me, what is Spunkware? What, what, what made you come up with this idea and kind of go through a timeline of how you got from working, say, in your garage to having the store to wherever you're being sold now? It, well, it's, it's an interesting story. It started out small. We actually had uh, four pieces that I started the business with, compression shorts, sports bra, headband, and this dress, nice. our original um, spandex dress. And we focused on the girls across market. We started off doing athletic apparel for pretty much school age girls. And it was the moms that became a secondary audience for us. And, and really our business can almost be divided in two. The women's dresses, skorts, skirts, yoga stuff, and the girls athletic apparel. That, so we still, we still do really well in both, the, both of those niches. What we're finding, we've been able to branch off and, for example, wholesale our women's apparel to boutiques and stores. Um, and then we focus on more athletic events, running, soccer, field hockey, actually any, any act of sport that women and girls are involved in. In Maryland, we're in a unique situation where we have a lot of teams from all over the country that come to Maryland for long weekends for lacrosse tournaments. So that's where our sales began. And when our customers would go home, wear our product, we started developing a really strong online business as well. Now, I was talking to your husband, who gave me a little bit of a timeline. I was mining him, so I'd know what I was talking about. But <laughs> he said that you all started in your garage at first. We did. Yes, it was a tiny mom and pop operation. And Steve was really instrumental in creating a lot, all the processes that allowed us to continue to grow and expand. From the idea to now, it's been seven years. We didn't make major mistakes. <laughs> so it's, it's been a collaborative effort, honestly. Ken Island's a great place not only to work, but to collect really great employees. One of the best parts about our warehouse are Rhonda and Jessica and Kristen. And Rhonda is the manager of the warehouse and head of customer service. And uh, we have a really great reputation for our customer service. All due in large part to Rhonda as well as Jessica. Hi, Rhonda and Jessica. How you doing? Good. How are you? All right. So what do you do here? A little bit of everything. Um, <laughs> anything that comes in the store that has to go back out the door, everything that goes along with it, my hand is in it somehow or another. Plus, we fill all of our um, online orders Great. from here. And online, uh, do you have anything to do with that, Jessica? What's your What's your deal here? I uh, touch everything as well. <laughs> do we do a little bit of everything. This is Kristen Seymour, and she works here at Spunkware. And Kristen, what do you do? Um, I am the social media director here. So you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. That will have our most up-to-date products that are coming in, the events we're going to. We feature pictures of people. They'll send us pictures, and um, we will feature it there so you can see yourself on our social media and be Insta-famous. Cool. Um, I deal a lot with the kids at the tournaments that we go to. We go to sporting tournaments, and I'll play games with them. There'll be a lot of tournaments where I'll have kids running in, Spunkware, Spunkware, they love our stuff. This storefront right here, you sell to the public out of here as well. We do, and that's kind of a big secret. A lot of people that know about us don't know we have this. Not anymore. <laughs> and, and we're hoping that the word does get spread because we have nooks and crannies full of bargains in here. And the people that wander in are so excited to see it. They spread the word, so it's been a word of mouth situation and then we when we do have our sales people are notified either online or through social media um, we do very little advertising it's all word of mouth and satisfied customers so um, we're hoping to continue that so people do know that not only do they have access to the bargain bins but they also have the largest assortment of what we do sell is always going to be here 
And what, in your opinion, is something that our viewers should be looking at when they walk through the door here? Everything. Everything. I mean, there you go. We're bright. We're very bright. You can see us from anywhere. We love our. We're a very bold company. So, what's the stuff behind you? What's the stuff behind me? So behind me we have our um, run shorts, which are some of our new products. They've been extremely popular since we've come out with them. And our yoga capris and yoga tights, which have pockets on the side, so you can stick your phone, which is Ooh, very look at that for anyone, any age. And some of our hoodies and mesh tanks like I'm wearing, which have a cute little keyhole in the back and are really light so you can run and be active in them. So they're good for any age. And all this is available right here on Ken Island? Yes, right here on Ken Island and on our website as well. And for people that don't know where it is, how do we get here? Well, we are in the Chesapeake Business Park. It's uh, very close to the Bay Bridge. Right on Route 8, if you're a parent, you know where Busy Bodies is. We're right across the way. Spunkware is a really, really, really cool store. It's got an amazing amount of original, unique clothing, and I'm glad to be here with you today. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming by and for opening the eyes of people that will see this. Appreciate Great. That. Thank you. Thank you.